Before we get started, there's four people that help us with this monument. I'd like to thank uh, Rod Walworth, Brent Spray, Steve Neese, and Sam Cotton. Uh, we're here. This is this dedication is way overdue. We should have done this ten years ago. But we're here to, to honor Terry and Larry. And I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna thank Terry because she's quiet. You never know. Amen. But, <laughs> but there've been many many kids. That went to church, and uh, with Terry, grew up to be Christians, and out in this world, spreading the word. Amen. And on this monument, we chose Psalm 127, and it says, "This is the house the Lord built," and I believe Amen. that He used Terry and Larry to do this. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you, Larry and Terry. Thank you. And I, I'll turn it over to LB. I heard a story just recently about a preacher, and after he finished his sermon, he went out front like most do, and he was talking to the congregation to come out, and a little six-year-old boy come out, and the preacher stuck down his hand and the little boy put a $5 bill in it. And the preacher said, son, is this for me? And he said, yes, sir, it is. I've heard my father say you're the poorest preacher <laughs> he'd ever seen. <laughs> well, that might be the place, you know, case in some places, <laughs> but it has never been here. Uh, God yeah. has blessed us with a man of God. Yeah. And uh, I would tell you about when a ship is commissioned and first goes out, the first crew on that is called plank owners. And if I have a regret in this world, it's not being a plank owner of this congregation when it first started down in that old cell barn, horse cell barn. And I can hear stories of them gathered around uh, old wood burning stove to stay warm while Larry brought the sermon. And from that little group, it grew. And they come up here and bought this old hill, cleaned it off and made that first part of this building. And then this expanded, and this expanded, and this expanded. And it's due to Larry and Terry for the work they've done. <laughs> Just God bless you and we appreciate you. Probably change. just ought to stop right there. <laughs> it went pretty good. You all changed plans on me, and this ain't for in here, but it's for that rock. <sighs> yeah, in case you all didn't notice, this church is built on a rock. Amen. Anyone that's tried to dig a hole out here, or drive a fence post, or dig a post hole, it's made up of little rocks, big rocks. There's some rocks back there that stick out of the ground that are probably big as a welding truck. And uh, you know that sounds pretty biblically correct to me. Um, that's, and I thought this for years. That's basically what Jesus told Peter to do, right? Build your church on a rock. Amen. Well, I don't know that those that came before me that worked on this knew they were building on rock that part back there's got a hole in the roof that you can see where I fell through it <laughs> and I didn't get to build any of this part or help on it my hands are shaking I do not like it up here <laughs> um, all I know is that there are rocks big rocks little rocks all kinds of rocks and I guess I'm speaking symbolically when I say that uh, Jesus told Peter to do that. Um, I do know that Brother Larry Bad ties me up here in a tin can <laughs> with 
40 below zero water in it. I know some of you took the same deal, experience. Uh, grass and grass burrs growing up through the through the rocks. Hold your mic to your face. You can't hear me? <laughs> I can't either. Um, the real reason this church ended up being here in Matthew 16, 17, Jesus asked Peter, who do you think I am? And Peter declared, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus answered, you are Peter, and blessed are you. And no man has told you this, but my Father, who which is in heaven, and because of this fact, I will build my church on this rock. I will build my church on this rock, not Peter. I will build my church on this rock. Amen. I've sat through many, many sermons here, years of sermons, Wednesday night sermons, children's church, Christmas plays, and I've never failed to hear that Jesus is our Savior and the Son of the living God. Amen. I guess the rocks are just a coincidence. <laughs> Amen. Now this is a rock, the one up there on the picture. It tells a story, if you read between the lines, a fact that Brother Larry and Sister Terry and their family have been a rock not only to this church, but to many of you, but a rock in my life. Quit that. All I really want to say is thank you. Amen. Thank you both for being an example. Amen. And it's probably unknowing guidance that helped me set the course of my life. I love you both. Amen. And I thank you very, very much. Dang, I'm shaking. Uh, an example of one of the courses that Brother Larry set me on leads back there to the food tonight, or today. Thank you. Thank you. You know, did you want to say something? <laughs> Robert, you did good. I'm proud. I'm proud. You know, we're both humbled and honored for, for the recognition. And, and as I thought about this day, I reflect on back how so many people were, it wasn't just Terry and I, but so many people instrumental in building this church, putting it together. Uh, and, and, you know, and I kind of think probably God did what was done here in spite of me. I think I was always slow uh, to probably do some things that we could have done, maybe done them better. But I'm going to say this. Uh, Terry and I have had the privilege of uh, shepherding the greatest group of people that there is. I have never yet had any preacher that's come here to share that doesn't make this comment. That's the sweetest bunch of people I ever met. And, and we've had been blessed with those. And, and I don't, it just cut on how it could be any better. But once again, we thank y'all so much for the kind words and for the kind thoughts and, and for the, the rock. Uh, it, it means a lot to us, and we appreciate it more than we could ever tell you. And you know what? I think uh, this church has got many good things ahead of it. Uh, and, and this church has been able to help so many people. We're, we're getting in now. We've got our pantry stocked and if you need food uh, you can get with Terry Jo Lee she'll take care of you there and uh, with some of the things going on in today's society the cost and everything we see that very viable but but also it's amazing how many people that this little church has helped every month feeds uh, ministers to and, and God has blessed us. And, and, I, and even in financial stuff, he's always financially blessed us that we're able to do that. And I think that's the reason why. It's because we 
help others. That's what Christianity is all about. Uh, we don't have carpet, don't have, and then I'm not knocking anybody that's got that, that's fine. But it's about people, it's not about buildings, it's not about furniture or anything else, it's about people. And uh, we're, we're just proud to be a part of it, and, and like I say, I can't get her to say anything, she's shy, but uh, <laughs> here she's not shy at home, <laughs> amen. But uh, I'm going to tell you this, uh, I couldn't have had a better mate for everything, but especially to be in a ministry, because she loves the Lord, loves these kids, and I told her, uh, the sad part about it, I told Tara, I said, a lot of the work you're doing, you won't see results for 20, 25 years. To those kids get up, they leave home, and about 30, they'll come back and say, Miss Terry, thank you for teaching me this or that. So her job's a whole lot harder than mine, you know, and I appreciate what she does there. She, she works on it. Uh, she is working on it to, on church this morning. She works on it all the time, watch prepare and share with the kids, and I appreciate that. But once again, we just love each one of you. Just such a blessing beyond measure, and appreciate you more than you know those on Facebook. Uh, and uh, we thank God's got some good things ahead for us. Don't stop here. But love you so much. Can't begin to tell you. Can't put in words what you mean to us. Amen? Amen. 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 Love you.